2019 season, we won the Canadian Championship where we played uh, Toronto in the final. And I played, you know, both legs of the final, which was, you know, a really cool experience for me. And, you know, that was the first trophy I've ever won. Um, that was cool. goal was huge. It was, uh, it was a pretty easy goal for me, honestly. But that entire game in general... <laughs> It was a banger from 30 yeah, yards. Ba- everybody time. says it was a, everybody says it was a three yards with my weak foot too. So very impressive. You should, every, everybody who's listening to the podcast should go check it out and let us know if you think it was a banger or not, because I think it was a banger and it was my weak foot. It's very impressive. When you see it, you laugh because you'll realize the joke, but uh, no, that game against new England, the way was, you know, was really the game where that really bought my confidence up a level where I realized I could play. And it wasn't just because I scored a goal. It was because that entire game, I feel like I had a very good game. Um, and even if you look now, New England had a really good run this season uh, in the playoffs and whatnot. And the key player for them was Carlos Gill. He's such a good player. He's a what center? He's like a number ten. Really, really good player. And I played against him when we played away in New England when I scored my first goal. And if I'm being honest, I think I kept him in my pocket pretty well. And so watching him play so well against you know all these teams, I'm thinking, man, like I, I kept this guy in my pocket last year. So um, that's something that I think is pretty cool. But that was really a, a game where I where I felt like. You know, I'm I'm here and I'm good enough to be here and I I should I can be a, a dominant player. There's a team. funny story behind that, which I mean, I, when he told me I was starting, first of all, I was like, okay, like this is sick. Like I'm gonna get my chance to play. I need to play well. The team was doing bad, so it was a good time to come in the, to to get my chance. Um, but the funny story before that was I was obviously still in school at the University of Alberta. Uh, I started just starting my engineering degree, and that that the day of that the week of that game against the Rowdies, I actually had an exam. So the and I, a couple of days before the game is when Colin Miller liked to have a starting team starting lineup play against the, the opposition lineup. I'm sure you remember Jake, and then we do the tactics. And so my plan was that after that practice, I would tell Colin Miller and Jeff that, that I actually couldn't travel to the Rowdies game because I had an exam that same weekend. And then I show up to practice and I'm in the starting 11. I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? So obviously I could, this is the first time I was starting. So I can't tell Colin Miller like, yo, you got to take me out of the lineup. Like I can't do this. So then obviously I was like, okay. So then after practice, I went back to school and I knew I was in the starting 11. I was like, this is sick. And then I had to talk to all my professors when I had to get it sorted where I could push my exam back. So that's that's the story that was on the side, but I mean, I mean, can you go behind him? Out in front of him. That's a football. That's a football run, man. Behind him. Dance! Dance! Let the ball come! Go on the ground! Am I on the ground? That's an easy one! Roman! 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 Dance low! Maxi! Arriba! And he was so passionate. Uh, so demanding of his players and I almost thought looking at from an outsider I don't know if I'd want my coach to be kind of as kind of I don't know if the word arrogant is but just as like kind of just he, he expected so much and it might be almost impossible to kind of at- achieve what he wants so did you find it was difficult to play under a manager that had so much success as a player or what are the other kind of things that you learned from him? Yeah, I mean, in terms of that, in that sense, and the way he coaches on the sideline, it is, it, 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 I did find it a bit difficult at times, just because it felt like, you know, he wanted perfection almost, which, which is understandable, because he's a player that was, you know, amazing, he's a legend, he's one of the best of the game, um, and so it made it difficult at times to do what he wanted you to do, and especially for me playing out of position, that made it, you know, another level of difficult, but at the end of the day, those are excuses that I made, but those are excuses that I shouldn't make, because in the end, I was in that position to, to do the job, um, but at the same time, it's good to have a coach that's that's demanding because it makes you a better player. You know what I mean? And so I think what, what came across at times with, with the boss man was, um, you know, he wanted the best out of us, but at the same time, the way he came across in terms of feedback could have came as a bit negative where it doesn't help the player kind of, you know, if he makes a mistake in a game to, to move on and to, and to make sure that, you know, he doesn't make that mistake. 